I'm the executive director of the Michigan Community Service Commission, the state's lead agency on service and volunteerism. The commission believes in the power and value of service and sees firsthand the impact countless Michigan citizens can have when they dedicate themselves to an opportunity to do good. That includes the millions of Michiganders who volunteer for various organizations across the state each year and the more than 1,700 individuals who are serving as AmeriCorps members in our great state this year. Let's hear from some of our in the audience. Raise your hand if you're an AmeriCorps member. <laughs> Woo! That's great. Thank you for your service. We also have over 50,000 K-12 students who will be giving service through the Learn and Serve Michigan program this year, and 11,000 older American, adult Americans engaged in our state senior corps program. Let's hear it for senior corps. I know some of you are represented here today. And in addition to those individuals, we have more than 17,000 adults who are serving as mentors to youth in our state all across this great, all across the state of Michigan. As a collective unit, they are making a difference in our communities and for the state as a whole. We know about the significant contribution individuals can make when they are encouraged to serve. We call on them to do amazing things like improving young people's uh, ability, reading abilities and keeping families in their home and out of foreclosure, protecting our environment, assisting in times of disaster, and providing a listening ear to our youth, and so much more. We provide them with valuable outlets to conduct this service, such as National Days of Service, and initiative-driven opportunities. It's fitting that today's celebration falls during National Volunteer Week, but I also want to note that this weekend marks the annual Global Youth Service Day, and later this week we will have over 70 projects engaging thousands of K-12 students all across our state in service, and it's important to note how, it's, how early it is for them to start and so that we can get them on the path to a lifetime of service. So we look forward to those opportunities and the engagement of those young people later on this week. With all these amazing opportunities occurring, there's no time like the present to unite as a concerted group and to reaffirm our commitment to service and philanthropy. I hope that today's remarks, testimonials, and award presentations reinvigorate your desire to give back in whatever way you can.